Ugh. Oh, that's not a way to start an intro. Oh, hi there, guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and why is my nunchuck not working? But anyways, welcome back in the last part. We finally, finally finished all the Twilight places in the entire game. We never have to do it ever again. Trust me. The game wouldn't throw something at... Yeah, something at us. They wouldn't throw something like that at us, would they? They actually won't. Spoiler alert. Anyways... I was gonna get a whole bunch of heart pieces, but I realized that we have to wait a while before we're able to do that. In fact, we won't be getting a whole bunch of heart pieces until at least after the next dungeon. So in the meantime, we're gonna try to advance the plot. We could totally talk to Zora, but we're not going to, because we don't really care. We do, however, want to talk to this dude. Why, hello there. Hello, some of the Zoras are still alive down there. I thought maybe they dried up along with the lake. Hey, buddy. Have you heard? There's, like, a temple or something at the bottom of that lake. They put on such airs with all their rituals and fancy temple hoo-ha, then they just disappear. And what's with putting that temple so deep that humans can't swim there? I swear, those Zoras. Whoa, whoa, watch out for the racial slurs here, man. Oh, are you a customer? Yeah, <laughs> you're one lucky fella. The height of excitement. The thrill of launching into the heavens. The very peak of flying fantastification. It can be yours, fella, for a limited time only, and without waiting in line, it's a part tree. Ten rupees. What do you say? I'll give it a shot. Welcome, fella, and right this way. Now, oh, this looks innocent enough. It's just a doorway. It'll warp us up there or something. Who locked the door? I hope to leave this with my kidney. Magical songs are so fun, they shoot you into the mother fucking air. Yeah, it's so fun, I don't know the words, because there's no words at all. What the hell am I singing for? Maybe I should stop. Okay, I'll do that right now. I don't know why I just did that, but I did. So deal with it. But that cannon shoots you into the sky. It's the only way to get back up here, so. We'll have other methods in the future. Now you can't... Oh, shut up, Midna! Whoa, that reminds me of something. Didn't that late Queen Zora, like, ask you to do something? She has to find her son, the one who's been missing since the, we headed for Hyrule Castle. I think she said something about granting you some special power if you rescued him. If the final piece of Fuse Shadow is on the bottom of Lake Hylia, then it looks like we're gonna need that ability. So yeah, thanks Midna, just spoiling the plot for me. So dandy. Anyways, if you do this mission here, which we'll do later, obviously, um, you can get a whole crap load of rupees and a piece of heart, but uh, we're going to wait for the future, because I don't want to have to pay more than I would. Also, I'm not very good at it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not feeling too great. Alrighty. Now we're finally in the last area of the game, with it being twi not twilight. Sunny times, so... That's just wonderful. Uh, there should be horse grass over here. I don't remember what it's called. But you know what I'm talking about. The one that looks like a horseshoe. There it is. Because I'm not walking all the way over there. I'm going to sit on my lazy ass and let my horse do it for me. Like any good person would. Come over here, horsey. Now. All right. Now that we're on our horse, turn around. We're going to ride all the way back to Castletown. Which actually doesn't take that long, so I don't think I'm gonna cut it. Ah, <coughs> oh, God. Deezy, I don't wanna cough. I'm not recording forever, so I decided to do it today. Alright, yeah, there it is. It's right over there. We should be good. Just get off your horse right here before we get into a place that'll be really hard to get off. Because he can't go on that bridge. Or she, Epona. Or hookers, whatever. Roll, roll. Ah, oh, Mr. Balls, wait. We've got some mail. It's not from a female. Strong bad references. Greetings, Mr. Balls. I have come to deliver a letter. There's a letter for you. Balls? Two letters, in fact. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. That guy seriously could not be any more fruity. I don't even need to do the fruity voice anymore. I think you guys get the point. Alright, um. Letters. Now open for business. D -d -d Dear Balls, the Lanairu Tourist Association has prepared a grand tour of natural splendor. Our current main attraction is Isa and Hannah's Playground for Grown Ups. You'll find both immediately down the riverbank from the Zora Waterfall Pool. Isa's Rapid Ride. 
It has like bomb arrows and crap. And this fishing hole. It's fishing. See you there. Oh, and Barnes. Finally, we've. Uh, ugh, I can't read. Finally, we've finished production on a new type of bomb. These ones can be used in the water. We have them in stock now. Come by to pick up yours up. All right, so that's all our mail. And one of those actually is important, and the other one I think gets us a piece of hearts in the future. So, anyways, onward to Castletown, because this is where that Zora Queen's son is. And I kind of skipped her dialogue when we met her, but. It's alright, the game will fix it. Mama will save me. Well, first of all, um, first thing I suggest doing in here, I'm going up to this dude and blow all of your money just donating to him. Because once you've donated a thousand rupees overall, he will give you a piece of heart. And of course, we want all the pieces of heart. So, why not just get it out of the way right now? He sounds so constipated, too. And only give him 50, that way it's easier to check, but... I can- Oh, no, no! I gave him 30! God damn it! Ah, oh, hand slip. That sucks. So, let's head over here. And there, we can get ourselves some our money back anyways over here. If you've collected a few of the golden bugs that I was talking about, you should be good. And I definitely suggest doing this before heading to the next temple. Because we're gonna get an upgrade. It's a pretty nice upgrade. Ah, uh, the music of this place. Quite creepy. Oh boy, I thought you were a giant grasshopper. But you're not a bug, you're a person. Still, you're wearing those clothes, so that tells me you like bugs too. Oh boy, I forgot the formalities. You have an audience with the princess of the bug kingdom. Agatha is my name. I've invited the 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but I don't know if they got lost on the way or what. But they're not here, that's for sure. If you see them, would you please bring them to Agatha's castle and tell them the princess awaits? Oh boy, if you have a bug with you now, please give it to me. The ball must be in. So, despite how creepy this chick is, we're gonna give her all of our bugs. Of course we brought a bug for your ball... ball bugs. A golden-bodied male ant. And Kakariko... Kakiriko, I don't know. Oh! Oh boy! Who's your friend? You're a cute little ant. You're a cute little ant. Little ant, little ant, I might expect you for a grain and put you in my cereal. Oh boy, thank you so much. I am so happy. You actually went bug hunting for me, didn't you? To be honest, I doubted you would. I get, why am I still talking like that? I guess some might consider me a poor mannered princess. From now on, if you bring me ac ins accents, if you bring me accents like Italian or English or maybe even like French, I'll share my happiness with you. You can keep it in this. You got the big wallet! Now we can carry like twice the amount of rupees. I wonder if there's a partner for this little bug. Sure, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So we got the female ant. And when you give her a second match, she'll say exactly the same thing for, for a bug. But she'll give you a hundred for, for uh, both genders. So that's pretty nice. Yes, of course we brought another bug for your ball. You found a golden-bodied male phasmid. It was found in the Bridge Veldon. Here you go. Oh boy! Oh boy! Who's your friend? You're a cute little ma male phasmid. Aren't you, little cutie? Little phasmid, little phasmid. I want to tie your long and tender into bows. Oh boy! Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Allow me to share this happiness with you. You have 50 rupees. Very nice still. 21 bucks left. Now that I never have to talk like that and again for another about four parts, why don't we actually advance the storyline? Shall we? God, Deezy, that is not a fun thing to do while you're sick, is, is to do really crappy voice impersonations. Oh, Jesus. Alright, but the place we're gonna head to is Telma's Bar. And uh, let me just warn you if you are offended by large gravitational objects, please do not look. go to the other direction. This is Telma's Bar, in case you're wondering, because I don't need to read the sign. I'm reading the signs for rebels. Oh, maybe not. That is a sword child. This is beyond my expertise. <clears throat> like his eyes would really be actually on his glasses. Doesn't make any sense. Doctor, wait! If something isn't done, this child will. Oh my God! It's Lapina Lady. What? Why is she ignoring me? Yeah. Hi. What? What the? 
Oh, yeah. Just because I'm wearing pelts now doesn't mean you have to frown upon me. Jesus Christ, man. Well, this isn't good. A human doctor won't do, huh? Oh, God. She's, like, advocating for fish now. I told you she's the pita lady. I told you, didn't I? That old coot reminded me. Though I've heard of a shaman in Kikakiriko... Kikakiriko... Kikakiriko village in the Elder Lands who's tended Gorons and Zoras. Is that true? Perhaps if we take him there... <clears throat> Inadvisable. Too dangerous. But we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need, either. She's not pretty. She's evil on the inside. Yes, we'd better escort you. Am I right, boys? God, I love that scene. I like the one short fat dude at the end, too. Well, isn't that nice? To reach Kakiriko, we've got to cross two plains that are each infested by dangerous beasts. But we'll be safe now. Or not. <laughs> I love that scene. Cowards, don't ever show your faces here again! Oh, wow. Bitch. Face. Why isn't it letting me press the A button? Blast from all my friends. Oh, my. Looks like we've got one young swordsman left. And they're not talking about my blade. Oh, I'm ashamed of my immaturity. And not only that, but it looks like this brave young man will escort us. So get ready to go, honey pronto. Oh, for a second there, I thought it said something different. I don't even know what I thought it said, but... You know that girl, don't you? How the hell did you know? It's a real shame. She can't even remember her own name right now. Her name's the PETA Lady! God damn it! Bless her heart. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road, so she did all she could to save him. Oh, don't tell me you're with her! More courage in that girl than in all the soldiers of Hyrule, for sure. All she did was pick up a fish dude! How the hell is that better than, like, defeating giant beasts and crap? You lend your strength to her. You hear me? Random zooming in on that fluffy Persian cat. Oh, is he here again? Fat ass McGee. He's over on that bridge. So you say the bridge to the west has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is to cross the bridge to the east. See what that means. You'll have to deal with that thing. Thank you so much for this. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's their name? Realization? Balls. I will never in all my life forget your kindness, boss. Little lady, I think you'd best save your thanks until we're safe in Kakakakakakiriko. This swordsman of ours has great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild, like a feral beast. Heh! <laughs> Irony. We need a beast right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakakakakakiriko safely, we'll just thank them then, okay? <laughs> Creepy old lady. I hate cougars. Anyways, in the next part, we will make our way to Kakiriko. Or Kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak